Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to give a shout out to Camino Dawson for his Patreon donation. Uh, make sure to check out his channel. He posts all different all kinds of videos. Again, that is Camino Dawson. Please check out his channel. He deserve give him some love. He definitely deserves it. He posts all kinds of videos. Now with that said, let's get to the video. Well, alright, hello YouTube, Lamar, there's Wild Boy, 5699, welcome back to Doki Doki Exit Music. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm suddenly a little bit pissed off right now, I'm kind of in a bad mood, something like, something really kind of shitty happened, and I'm um, trying to calm down, I decided, okay, I'll just record a couple videos, uh, take my mind off of it, and continue uh, making videos. So anyway, we picked up, we're going to play Doki Doki Exit Music, we're picked off where we left off, I can't honestly remember where we left off, I don't remember that it, uh, we got the Nazi key stuff out of her, uh, uh, place, so, out of her place, and I guess we'll go from there and see what it is, so. As I will, as, uh, as willing as I'll be to stay with Nazi Q like this for the rest of my life, my phone be beckons me. She's fast asleep, I do my best to escape her delicate grip without waking her up. Retrieving my phone from my pants, I look out the window. Oh, I guess y'all did fuck, I don't know. It must be early morning, I should have disabled my alarm for the weekend. I shrug it off and pull my shirt over my shoulders, I guess so. I noticed a full piece of paper on my desk. I pull up my pants. My name's printed in front of Natsuki's router. I open it. It's a poem. I guess they did have sex. I don't know. I would assume so. <laughs> that kind of... I don't know. Uh, I look at the hero. I look at the nice guy. I came in one hour. I keep my life from being a son. Was that a nice thing with this world? Was it your poem? Your words? Tasted them. Would it do back home? Leave me alone with him every night. It was a, it was a struggle. That's what I can say. It only got worse by day by day until you saw me. I tried to hide... This way, you saved me from the pain, you saved me from the hunger, and you saved me from me. I should have known you're my hero. Cool. I should be more happy about this. I don't know why I'm getting so irritated about it. The feeling weightless takes a hold of me once more. I have warm brain in my chest, pulses, pulsitates through my body, throughout my body. I read the poem multiple times, so it grows more intense. I place the poem on the desk next to my computer. Careful not to wait, not to get up. I close the bedroom door and make my way downstairs. You were on the fucking couch, though. How did you hell do you? I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm asking questions I probably shouldn't. I make enough. I make enough cover for the two two lesson keys. You want some? I stood at the kitchen table and wait, and wait, and wait. Not to keep her hand in front of my face. Eric the Colton. Anyone there? Anyone in there? Hey, sorry, I didn't hear you come downstairs. Is that for me? Well, Bo was, but not to keep takes two mugs and the cupboard, handing me one as I store myself a drink. Thanks. I return the mug direct from the refrigerator. Not to keep, and I take her coffee to the living room. Hey, yeah, I uh, found your poem. Eh. Uh, this, I handed the folded piece of paper. I loved it. Oh. <laughs> Am I really your hero? What else, what else could you be, dummy? Natsuki kisses me on the cheek and goes to stir herself. I smile warmly back. So, what you want to do today? No clue. She gives me a painful grin. I beam back to only any room and take a sip of my coffee. It's unusually sweet. That's strong. What's the matter? Can't handle a cup of coffee? I don't even like coffee. It's fucking nasty. She knocks, she knocks on my right hand. Knocks on my right arm, joking. What? Well, no, it's not that. It's just sweeter than I normally had it. Oh yeah, I put a couple of teaspoons of sugar in there while you weren't looking. I was just making you a cup the same way I make mine. You like it? It's a little too sweet for my taste, but I don't mind it that much. Just let me know next time, okay? Yeah, yeah. I beckon, I beckon for her to come sit down on the couch next to me. She hops over carefully not to pull her own drink. I turn around the TV as I wrap my arm around Nazi key shoulder, holding my mug in my lap. She digs, she digs her head into my chest and I spill the flick through the channels with the moon. After a while, she settles on something to watch. What are we watching? And we're waiting. There we go. We lay's about to get it for hours watching a film, watching a film on two TV programs. Up the line, not sticky speaks up. I'll be right back. What's up? I gotta use the toilet quickly. Sure, go ahead. I'll pause it here. I'm not sticky. Lays the room. I hit the pause button. I'm enjoying not sticky's company a bit more than the film we're watching now. Uh, this one is, and this is one of my favorite. Oh, much, much we watching Fight Club. Apparently, we both have. I gotta totally punch this in the air. Right, you down. Here's a rush in here. Rush into my room. What's she up to? A minute or so late, not to keep her hand on my phone in my hand. It's for you. She hands me the phone, currently engaged to call with an unknown number. Is it Yuri? Hello? Oh, Monica. Colton, we need to talk about Yuri. Um, I I'm taking it back. Does Monica want me to know what Yuri told me or sent? Uh, I'm listening. In person, I mean. As soon as possible. I sigh. Fine. Where? There's a little cafe on the other side of town. It's, it's a couple blocks down from Natsuki's place. She'll know where it is. I'll pay. All right, I guess I'll see you in half an hour. All right, sounds good. She hangs up. I pocket my phone as I get my seat and wave through the hallway. I grab my jacket and the wall mounted in the hanger, pull it over me. You want to come with? Sure. 
good because I wasn't looking forward to this having the fake Monica alone. Yeah, after what she did, even if she did apologize after, you never know. Throw my jacket on a peek out of the door and see the area is so cold, it's raining, as it assault my injury. The cafe is too close to warm to get on the bus, which means we have to we have to stomach the weather. <coughs> <coughs> Ready? Just a second. I'll just get my coat so we can go. Wait, Colton, you see my scarf? Yeah, it should be in the closet as well. I can't see it. I look in the closet and see on the shelf just not not secure. I grab it and hand it over her head. It's right here, silly. Now see, he tends to catch her from behind. Follow the jump it high enough. A couple more times, she hops up in the air and tries to catch me. But no, 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 The fan she stares at me. Please. All right, fine. Here. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Yeah, you would have pruned a few times, haven't you? She punches me. She punches me in the arm, jokingly in the arm. Hey, that was a little uncomfortable, don't you think? Not really. You're the. You're lucky that I didn't beat the crap out of you while you still had my scarf. Oh, would you really? Yeah. What if? What if? Well, what if I like you when you play around? Yeah. Now she can grab right, right, staring at me. Uh, nice one, Colton. Way to kill the mood. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Rob. Uh, we shouldn't make Monica wait unless we feel, unless we want to feel the warmth, her warmth again. She says, trying to surprise the Grand Natsuki hops out the door. Ooh, train. I follow with much less enthusiasm. Fuck. Could have gone on a fucking better day. It's fucking like 7 o'clock at night. It's fucking hot as shit outside. I went swimming earlier. Turning down the street sides, we make our way into town. The cafe shuts inside of the corner of the street. We cross the road to get to the door. A refreshing guest of human airs we enter. There's a couple of people sat around the place where Monica is nowhere to be seen. Looks like we're early, huh? Yep. I'm the scarf around her neck. She especially holds it up and stuffed into your coat pocket. Well, come on, I'm gonna get get, get a drink. No, wait, Monica says she's paying. Yeah, for you. I don't think she'll be happy if I'm even here, let alone be good enough on terrace to buy me a drink. She seems really mad. She she still seems really mad at me. Honestly, you think? Well, if you want to spend your money, that's fine. I, guy, uh, you're just trying to use the reverse psychology. Trying to. Fine, I'll wait. We'll take a seat at the table in the four corner cafe and wait. I'll scroll through my phone without waiting. It bleeps and I notice the notification. Oh, gee, I'm really sorry. Listen, listen I'm going to give you another 10 minutes, I promise. Once again, the Monica F and shifted drastically. Why? Why, has something come up? I'll tell you about it when I get here. Okay, hopefully it won't be taking too long. We sat, we sat in the back and we'll keep an eye out for you. We? Ah, oh, crap. Time to be a bullet. Not so key's here with me. Ah, right. That confused a lot. LOL. I will see you two there. XOX. What's with the XO? I shouldn't have come to surprise that Monica has softened up. The Natsuki can consider when to get it out. But despite this, it still does. Despite Monica's apology, I'll let Natsuki to hesitate to accept. After showing the heartless manner in which she emotionally destroyed Sierra and Yuri, I don't think she can truly forgive her, regardless of her reasoning. Usually, people like that don't or can't change. Usually. That's why I'm giving her a chance to change. However, all I can do is right now and see what warrants such an urgent meeting with Yuri and her habits. What'd she say? She, tried, she peeks over my shoulder and goes to the message. Just, she's running late. All right. Well, how long is she going to take? I shrug. No idea. She really didn't say anything while she's... Oh, there you are. Monica arrives out of breath still sits between us. Hey, Colton. Ooh, she's wearing something different. She's wearing a tank. Tank top. It's fucking cold and rain outside. You could wear something heavier. Weird. And you, Natsuki. Hi. Sorry I'm so late. I didn't even have time to grab a coat. I was busy trying to Yuri online. She said some things that, um, there's a short sound between us which nobody knows what to say. Well... I say to speak for themselves. Since I'm getting the drinks, Colton, what would you like? Uh, you better not say fucking water. I'm gonna be fucking mad as hell if you say water. I pair up with the selection of drink over in the sign over the counter. Making a choice, I notice Natsuki keep looking over the sign. Monica doesn't pick up on it. I guess I'll just get a regular coffee. Oh, Colton, can I get a cup? Sorry, Natsuki, I don't think I have enough money to spare for you. I promise Colton that I'll buy him a drink. How much do you got, Natsuki? Uh, Natsuki fumbles with her change purse for a wallet. I only have like five. I've got an idea. Why don't we just pour our money together? That way we can all get a drink and maybe a patient from the side. That's fucking expensive as shit. You've been to fucking Starbucks? Fuck. I could just call the fucking Burger King. I'll be fun with that shit. Sound good? Not to keep using me from before stepping in to change back to Monica. Yeah, I think that'll work. Three of us approach the town, make a word and sit back down. I'll be right back, okay? Don't stare out without me. That's a key heads up to the washroom. Uh, Monica leads towards me. I'm gonna be Frank. Who's Frank? <laughs> There's something seriously wrong with your. Yeah, no shit. I gotta agree. You saw the cuts? Yeah, kind of hard to forget. Monica reaction is pressing you yourself on much of the surprise. Like she just found out even though she expressed me in the first place. And she trying to pretend that the club's argument didn't happen when her brass turned out, so you say, Well, it's not just that. Look at this. I flashed a picture of Yuri sent to, Yuri sent to me. What the hell? That's Yuri? Wow. You sure? Like 100%. Yep. How does she react to that? Who? Natsuki? Monica nods. Well, she saw it before me, actually. 
We were in the middle of a conversation and she just sent it to a zero content content. I pull up the messages, lean the picture, make a little point up. To it. That's just bizarre. I know I didn't respond to it. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to say? Well, that explains a lot. What do you mean, Yuri? She sends a lot. Of, she sent me a lot of pictures of her cuts too, Colton. Nothing like that, mind you. Well, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. You seriously need to have a word with her. The thing she said to me, I was talking with her on my war. They were fucked up. Damn, I didn't know you had that language. She told me that I should. Well, you can take a guess. Monica hesitates. She slides her phone over to the, with the chat open. It's none of your business, you preppy bitch. I'm fine. In fact, you should try it sometime. Holy shit. Maybe you'll maybe I'll take the stick out of your ass. I'm done talking about this with you. Wait, Yuri. I didn't mean to offend you. I hand the phone back to her. Yeah, I'll speak to her. Why to me specifically, though? Oh, you didn't see it? Here. Once again, she hands me her phone, swiping down the chat. Oh, my God. That's my Yuri sliced my name in my initial into her arms. Holy fuck. I can understand doing a fucking Marco, but I'm, fuck that. I'll be fucking creeped out. I'll be like, police. Be like, police, help me. I feel lightheaded. Jesus Christ. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. Just that. Do you not understand why you have to talk to her? I swallow up Beverly. Yes, I get it. I should just bring in your. I should just bring in that you're with Nazi key. Maybe that'll knock some sense into her. Like hell it will. Colton, I'm worried about her well-being. I know I'm totally meant meant to it. A perfect bitch, as she put it. But that doesn't mean I care. I don't care about her. I'm having trouble believing that. Though she actually did bother to organize this to show me. I don't even know what Monica's intentions are anymore. I can understand. I understand. I try, I'll try my best. Nazi key returns to the table. Is everything okay? Kinda. I just need to have a talk with Yuri. She told Monica to cut herself. Damn. Okay, that's way over the line. I'm sorry, Monica. The barista calls up the counter and drinks some food. I take mine and Nazi keys drinking. Monica grabs her own with, with the pastry. I'm sure you don't want to tell her about the picture. I get it. I get it, but she needs to know. What picture? Uh, you know what Yuri said to Monica? Well, she, uh, Monica, can I use your phone for a second? Sure. I hand her the phone. Yuri picture's already loaded up. She re squealing. Eh! What the hell? A couple of people could come up with present their like That's why I need to talk to her as soon as possible. To let her know that I'm with you and I don't plan on leaving you for anyone. Now Tiki takes a sip of her comma frappe. I get it, Colton. But if this continues, I'm gonna... It won't. I'm gonna deal with Monica. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with it on Monday. We sit her through the heavy silence. I still can't believe that picture. My phone buzzes in my pocket. Why I look at Natsuki? Colton? Monica turns her attention back to me and plays... Out of my pocket. A text from Yuri. What'd she say? I can see you. Oh. Oh, no. That's when you get the hell out of Dodge and don't come back. I look around the cafe. Yuri need an interest novel in her hand. She walks over and eventually takes the notice of her. Monica waves awkwardly. Natsuki hears her enough officially. Yuri takes a seat next to Monica. Good afternoon, everyone. I wasn't expecting to see you all here. Yeah, Yuri. Monica, I just wanted to apologize for what I said earlier. I do hope we can keep it between us. Monica shoots me away going, oh, sure. Colton, did you give him a message the other day? You never got back to me. You know what? No, I didn't. My phone was bugging out yesterday. Not so cute looks that she can jump over to rip Yuri to shreds. I guess it's just lucky that Yuri's not paying, paying her much attention. I rest my hand on my knees. Thing I rest my knee on her hand signaling to keep her cold. Relax, not so cute. Relax. I'll be right back. I'm just going to order my drink. Colton, do you want anything? No. No, Yuri, I'm fine. Well, that you mentioned, I'll give her one order one everything on the video just to throw off. I have my own drink. Oh, that's fine. Yuri leaves with the table and stands in line. What the hell was that, Colton? I'm, I thought you were going to bring this. Not here and not right now. Not with you two here in a crowded cafe. What if she doesn't take it? Well, well, I don't even know the what. I don't even know what to say. To say what if you and I both know that she won't. I'll deal with this Monday, as I said. For now, we'll just act normal as possible. That goes for you too, Monica. But... I know what I'm doing. Relax. You're doing a hell better job than me, boy. I think Yuri joins the table having paid for her drink. So, what'd you get? I decided on the signature bland tea. It's very sweet. Colton, you should come. we should come here one day. Maybe we'll have a club meeting here. Maybe if we have a club meeting here instead of just a day of us. No. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to raise my voice. Well, maybe. Not to give you guys my hand, but the table squeezes it hard. I'll be right back. I need to use the washroom. Yeah, same here. Don't leave me alone with Yuri! Don't leave me alone with Yuri! Be right back, Yuri. Oh, oh. The three of us head into the corner at you. Woo! Woo! Colton, I can't take this. How are you keeping so cool headed? This is just so messed up. What is your plan anyway? Yeah, what's the plan? Hey, one at a time. Now, I know this is weird. Weird? 
This is totally crazy. Whenever I look at her, I can I can't all I can see is her arms. Monica nods in agreement. Just hear me out. My plan is to talk to her. Plain and simple. I'll tell her that I'm with you, Natsuki, and I'll bring up the cell her cell phone. And dearly, she'll let me roll up her sleeve and see how that really is. Hopefully, I'll talk to her about going to a professional. Her feelings toward me are clearly making her cutting far worse. And I don't want another friend in the hospital. All right, I guess. It might work. But have you got a better idea? I'm not, re I'm not really. Monica rushes to the woman's room. I'm going to go to the wash my hands and I'll be right back out. Okay, I'll just go back to your by myself. I return to my seat. Yuri beams at me from over the table. She chuckles to herself as she plays around with her phone. Bzzz. You should read that home. One man, two follow the dance. I swipe dismissing the notifications. Damn. Do you like a call? I can't load it. I think I think I'm out of mobile data. Oh well, you should totally check it when you get home. I'm sure you'll love it. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Monica resume, re returns to the table. Follow not to keep returns to the table, followed by Monica who's take who takes out her handbag. You know, I should get going. I have things to, I have need things other than the club tomorrow. It was nice seeing you all. Don't go all oh, early. <coughs> Come to think of it, I should probably head out as well. Natsuki, I'll walk you home. Wait, Colton, you don't need to waste your time. I could walk Natsuki home. No, really, I'm fine. I'll go with Colton. I we'll talk on Monday. We'll talk to you on Monday. You're, uh, uh, Natsuki and I'll make our way out of the cafe, leaving you alone at the table. Kind of feel bad for her now, but I really should it. Still right here. With our with our awesome side, we slow down to normal pace. Colton, yeah. You're really good at handling these kinds of things. What do you mean? At first, well, first talking to Siori, now Yuri. You do know that Siori's in love with you, right? Yeah, she told me. Really? Yeah, I'll tell her what I told her. It's not like I don't love her. It's just that she's purely as friends, especially considering I was falling for you. Natsuki stops walking. You really mean that? Yep, I love you. Natsuki wraps her arms around me as we continue walking. I love you too, Colton. After a short walk, we enter the house. Natsuki makes her way upstairs, leaving me in the foyer. That better not be the end of the day. That better... Oh. We're in the bathroom. We're gonna shower together. I stand idly in the mirror. The figure between stays eerie black. Colton! Anyone there? Natsuki runs in front. Sorry, Natsuki. I've just been thinking. It's fine, Colton. I can't really blame you. Today was nuts. You know, we look really good together. I wrap my arm around Natsuki. Natsuki. We stare in the mirror for a moment. Do you have your phone on you? Yeah, why? You should take a picture of us. We do. We really do look nice together. Cute even. Cute, huh? What happened to I'm not cute? Uh, that doesn't count. <laughs> I was talking about both of us together, Nanny. Digging into my pocket, I grab my phone and take a quick photo. Natsuki is already posing. Take your time. Just a second. Sorry. Ready? Natsuki face on enthusiastic. Do we get to see the picture? Do we get to see the picture? Let me see the picture. Let me see the picture. That pic takes you. Let me see the picture. Do we get to see it? Immediately she snatches one from and we see how they turn out. This one's really blurry. I'm getting rid of it. But I really like this one. She turns her phone to me. I want to see the picture. I can't help but agree. It's perfect. Actually, yeah, that one's great. Natsuki takes my hand and leaves me out of the bathroom. I want to see the fucking picture. She hops on the couch and I follow. I pluck the phone out of her hand, turning it off. Do you want to watch something? Or maybe. What do you got in mind? I give her a suggested gift. She ignores it. We could bake some cookies. Aww. That sounds good, actually. We don't want to go around to... Colton, get your mind out of the gutter. Dummy. Natsuki stands, her, stands and hits toward the kitchen. Her voice echoes back to the living room. Colton, did we run out of eggs? Um, I'm not sure. You checked right at the back of the fridge. Yeah, I don't see them. Natsuki has returning to the couch. So much for baking. Well, I got a better idea. Don't even. Damn it. I was going to suggest we go out to the park, Natsuki. Come on, you really thought I was going to keep... Well, you meant it the first time. Yeah, but that was just a suggestion. I, uh, must think he paused for a moment, sure how to come back. Alright, I get it. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just order in? Yeah, I guess we can do that. So, what do you want to order from? Pizza Hut! I don't know, really just got, what do you got in mind? I don't know, actually. <laughs> it was just a suggestion. You choose. Pizza. Pizza Hut! Sure, but I'll order dessert for us, too. Alright. Using my phone, I quickly order the, turn the television on. I'm going to use the bathroom, but we'll be right back. Okay. I pick up my phone, head to the coffee, and head upstairs. What are you doing, Colton? What are you going to do? I enter the bathroom and lock the door behind me. I have to know what else, what you're seeing. Because we take out the phone. Natsuki was already upset at the cafe. I can't let her see these ones, too. I opened up I opened up the conversation with Yuri. There were a total of seven images from her. The one with her blood drawn and a heart on her chest. My initials carved into her arm. Wait. What? So that's what Yuri went through in my bag? It's bloody. I constantly continue to scroll through the pictures. The next one, she's wearing an unbuttoned shirt. She's sitting on her bed with her pen in my mouth. 
Pain in the mouth. I can't scroll. I can't help myself. I keep scrolling. What happened? Oh. I think I'm going to be sick. My face is completely red. Crap. I flushed the toilet, splashed water on my face, and then back downstairs. As I enter the living room, I shut up my phone completely. Just as I sit there and knock at the door. Yay! I enter the door and pay for the food and return to the couch. I set our meal on the table. It's a large pepperoni pizza with a side of fries. Fries! And some onion and garlic dipping sauce. Could have got some cheese sticks instead. Natsuki's already tucking in and having her dip the edge of the first sauce and taking my Thanks, Colton. She gives me a kiss on the cheek. I'll come and buy a stack of sauce. <laughs> Sorry. Natsuki leans over and licks my cheek. <laughs> hey! <laughs> now we're even. I don't know what you're talking about. I remember back in the original Doki Doki Lyric show, we licked the stuff off your finger. Now we're even. Cheeky. Get it? <laughs> I feel the blood rush to my face once more. You're so easy to fluster. Hey, so are you. Oh, I am now. I place my hand on your thigh, side, eat, sliding it up so slightly. There you go. Now it's like cheeks slide up a crisp, like a Christmas decoration. She moves her hand between her legs, showing a cushion, shoving a cushion between us. That doesn't prove anything, dummy. You shouldn't throw stones in the living room in a, if you're living in a glass house. I take a bite of my pizza, surprise the nerves, and chuckle. Now it's suddenly we change your spot behind beside me. We sit for a while, change the slice of pizza while watching TV. You don't always have to be right, you know. I can't help but crack a smile. Well, you make it so easy sometimes. What is that supposed to mean? I'm a pro, don't forget. All right, and it's like, whatever you say. I shoot her a cheeky wink. She looks as she wants to say something, but she bites her tongue. Instead, we turn her attention back to the TV while we eat. What's next? Are you done with that? Yeah, I'm stuffed. I take Natsuki's plate and hand her mine to the kitchen. I almost forgot. I lean down and open my bag, revealing the bottles of wine. I take one and set it on the counter, put them the rest of the food. Y'all are young, unless you're like in fucking somewhere else other than the U.S. Well, that's wine you got, right? Eh, whatever. I peer over the living room for a moment. Natsuki is forced to focus on the show. I remember through the drawer trying to find something to open with. Is everything okay in there? Yeah, just give me a second. At the back of the table, I couldn't even find the corkscrew. It looks... I look for a way to open the bottle so quickly as possible. Okay. To make sure the cork doesn't loud, allow pop, I wrap a towel around my mouth, around the mouth of the bottles, and wiggle the cork free. Success. It's a clear glass of a cup with hiding the bottle from the back. Hey, Natsuki, I have a little something for you. Huh? I revealed the bottle, her eyes lit up. Colton, you must, you must know your wine. I remember when, uh, when he brought that, it had to be important. Expensive, was it? Natsuki nods her head furiously. Oh, well, isn't that a shame? I sit myself on the couch to begin to pour each of us a glass. Give me that. I wrap my arm around Natsuki as we enjoy the wine. Personally, I really don't like it as much as I expect, expected to. It just tastes kind of sour. Either way, Natsuki seems to be enjoying it. I'm sure the taste will grow on me. How exactly did you get this? I was going to pat, I was going to pat your ass while I just got off the bus and went inside. After I got yourself, I decided to check the basement. Not entirely sure why, but it worked out, I guess. I know I already said it, Colton, but thank you so much for everything. Natsuki places coffee and embraces me tightly. You make me everything better. So do you, Natsuki. We stay like this for moments. Natsuki pulls back and finishes your glass. So do you. Mind if I have another? Sure. I pour ourselves another glass. I lean back into the couch once more. Something pounding he heavily to the shit out of me. Lucky flinging her wine on the table. She curls up in the field of position on the sofa. That not how even startling me. Her reaction as I was sheer terror. I wonder why. The knuckle prints on her bedroom door. No wonder. Natsuki, are you okay? It's okay. I get it. Natsuki meets her eyes. She looks embarrassed, but I can't help but feel back. I'll be right back, okay? I'll leave Natsuki the couch and head into the doorway. I pee up for the peephole. Who is it? It's late. I can't make it out who it is. Another few heart pounding through my house. I can hear Natsuki rainbow. I turn to the dead bolt, leave the chamber. It's her dad. It's her dad. Just in case. Uh, it's her dad. Oh, Siori! It's Siori! Hello? Hi, Colton. Siori! What's that smell? What smell? It's your breath. It smells like wine. I know you have her in there, so I'll make it quick, but I just want to let you know that I've been prescribed some medications that should help me with my, my rain cloud. So you don't need to worry about me anymore, Colton. I know that's what you wanted. Siori, it's not like that. Not to keep kicks around the corner of the door. Siori, hey, I'm glad you're okay. How are you? Natsuki, I just came over to talk to Colton about something serious. Can we have some privacy, please? Oh, well, okay. I guess I'll just clean up the mess while you two talk then. Natsuki receives a towel from the kitchen and disappears into the living room once again. I'm surprised the token Sierra is here too. Maybe she doesn't want to be up with her. So what is it? Colton, since I've been put on this medication, I've been thinking more clearly than usual. And well, I think you should break things off with Natsuki. What? Why? Because I loved you first and you threw me to the side. 
It's not fair. All I need, all I need to see you is happy. And now that things are getting better, I think I can do that. So you're, I, you know, I just can't. Why not? What does she have that I don't? Is it because you found me with a noose in my hand, ready to die? It's because you really, it's, it's because you really do hate me, like I always thought. Give me a reason, Colton, because I'm not leaving until you do. God damn it, Suri, you've been my best friend for years. I know this is going to hurt, but that's all we ever been. In the original Doki Doki Literature Club, it gave you the option of either staying friends or uh, saying you love her. But either outcome of that, she's she's gonna kill herself. So there was no good outcome with that. Don't you think that if we brought the feelings to we would don't you think that if we brought feelings into this we would have been ruined it for we have? I don't want to ruin the longest friendship I have over a relationship with someone else. You have to understand where I'm coming from, right? Siri wants a tear from her cheek. My chest feels like it's it's an advice. Siri, you mean the world to me, but I'm not just willing to risk losing you over this. Siri, please say something. Siri turns away from me, taking a step off the porch. Wait. I grab their arm and pull her back. Let me go. Not yet. Just let me go, Colton. I got my answer. Well, I wasn't finished. So I resist a few moments before eventually giving it. Sorry, you're my best friend. You've changed my life so much since we met. Every, every, every one of my memories involve you. Every birthday, every Christmas, every summer, the club, everything. Sorry, I don't want to lie to you. That's why I'm going to tell you this now. I need you to put this to rest. I love you, but not in the way you love me. It's just platonic. Why has this gotten to be so difficult? I... She reaches into your pocket with her hand and grabs two small capsules. Um, you're not supposed to take them right now, are you? Yeah, yeah, I was meant to grab them a couple hours ago. I'm sorry, I really can't think straight. She lean she leans her head over to get the door to support herself. Siari, you alright? No, I'm No, I'm fuck I'm not fucking alright. Colton, I love you so much, but but she takes a deep breath. You make me sick. I'm going home. I don't protest. Instead I suddenly watch her as she storms down the street, close the door behind her. Where do I see I let myself back into the house? Nancy keeps waiting for me. So what was that? I could I could hear her shouting something. She's just upset that I don't love her. She wanted me to break up with you. Nancy shakes her head a glass of wine in her hand. I felt kind of bad because it isn't her fault, but she can't demand you to break it off of me because she wants you. It's not fair to try to ruin our relationship like that. I know. Well, there's some good news at least. What is that? Well, she's got out of the hospital yesterday. She's been prescribed some pills. Well, that's good. I just hope they help her. I know. I was worried about. I knew I was worried about Siori earlier, but I do care about her. You know, there was there wasn't no my doubt in my mind. There wasn't a doubt in my mind, Nat. Nat. I just guess we're happy. Probably there's a probably a little shocked by it. Wait, did you call me Nat? Um, yeah, you fucked up, dude. I gave her a weak smile. My head is swimming. The drink is starting to kick in. I uh, I like it. <laughs> you do? Yeah. She giggles some more. I can't help but join in. I can barely stand. I feel like I'm going to pass out at any moment. I don't even know if it's that late. Either way, I need some sleep. Um, do you want to go to bed now? Well, it's getting kind of late, but I'll be happy to, you know. Oh, I meant to go to bed literally, silly. She keeps her lies on me. I did it. Oh, right. Well, if you meant like that, i love to. Dropping the empty glass and like smash. She got the hand jacks me upstairs. What's wrong with my machine? Bracing me tightly, bringing her lips to mine. I can hardly see that, but that doesn't matter. We break apart from all and discard my shirt. And, whoa! What the fuck? Ooh, little jitty. Whoa, that's a, whoa. <laughs> God damn. That's a nice picture. I saw that picture online, but I wasn't sure if that was faint art or not. We collapse in the bed together and feel it making out. And it's going to the next day. Damn. Sunday. Oh, I gotta tell you this now. I got. Oh man. I'm gonna save that real quick. Save that. That reminds me of this fucking stupid comic I read a while back. It was about this girl who was going to college, and I guess she's bisexual, and it really pissed me off. I was reading this comic, she meets this new girl, and they were jogging down the street, and they begin to make out, and they decide they had sex. They show, it was a really graphic lesbian sex scene, but the comic transit, the next patient and show them climax, and they're coming, and it really pissed me off. I was sour about that for days, and that kind of reminds me of it. They're like, don't show a sex scene or a sex scene in a movie or a comic, and just leave it hanging and go to the next scene. you got to show all of it. That's a big pet thing to mind. I can't stand when you see an awesome sex scene or something in a comic or a movie and it just transitions to go to the next scene before they finish. It pisses me off and it sucks. I fucking hate when it does that shit. Anyway, that was a cool picture though. But anyway, I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check out my social medias down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.